Hey everyone, I'm Kirby. This is Kirby Meets Audio. And this past weekend, I went to Ohio for the 2018 Midwest Audio Fest. This was actually my first time in Ohio and despite the humidity, I'm used to the dry heat here in California, it was absolutely beautiful. So green and lush and just full of really the nicest people. <laughs> I, I would love to go back. So if you don't already know, every year Parts Express puts on this weekend event for its customers. There's a speaker building competition. Uh, some competitors even fly in from all over the country and some years even all over the world. There's a huge tent sale, free food, and this year they had me as well as Nick from the YouTube channel 123Toyed there to meet you guys and show off some of our skills. We started our Friday off with a tour of the Parts Express headquarters. We talked about the history of the company, uh, speaker design, a few upcoming secret products, and what it takes to get all your guys' orders out on the same day you place them. Of course, Dayton Audio is a big part of the Parts Express ecosystem. Almost every Dayton Audio product is designed by the team there in Ohio. One of my favorite things that Dayton Audio does is provide us DIY builders with FRD and ZMA files for every one of their drivers. These files make it really easy for someone without any measurement equipment to use free software to help design enclosures and crossovers. Dayton has a whole room dedicated to testing their drivers and getting those measurements for you. They use an infinite baffle setup, basically placing the driver between two rooms to get their measurements. The ceiling and walls of the room where the mic takes the measurements is covered in acoustic foam to cut down on reflections that can ultimately ruin those measurements. In the adjacent room, the drivers are mounted to a pretty smart jig system that makes swapping drivers really easy. This whole setup gave me lots of ideas for setting up my own driver testing station in the new studio I'm building. I was really impressed with their product organization and order pulling system. Shipping out 2,500 products the same day as they're ordered is no easy task, and the team here have it down to a science. I guess that's what 32 years of refinement gets you. So there are levels to speaker building, and if you thought I was even close to the top of that game, you are very much mistaken. The speaker design competition attracts some of the best DIY speaker builders around, and the quality of their designs was hands down some of the best I've seen or heard. One of the standouts for me was Aaron Lutzo's design. Aaron is 20 years old and started designing and building these two-way bookshelf speakers only a few months ago. They might not look like a million bucks, but I have to tell you, they sounded absolutely amazing. I was truly blown away. Aaron's speakers are a great example that you don't necessarily need all those fancy tools to get amazing sound from DIY speakers. You just need to get that spark of interest, put in the work to get a little bit of knowledge, put your designs out there to get feedback, and you can come up with something that's truly great. I'm gonna link his stuff down in the description. Definitely go check him out and follow his speaker design journey. This was seriously a treasure trove of design knowledge and everyone was so open and kind with answering each other's questions and giving feedback on their projects. And to be honest, I was a little nervous to go to this. Uh, I, I know not everyone in the audio community likes me or what I do on this channel. I, I'm not exactly an audiophile channel, but I, I really had nothing to be worried about. <laughs> uh, every person I met was warm and welcoming. And I have to say, um, they weren't all fans of me either. I, I even had a conversation with someone who disagreed with one of my review videos, uh, but he was respectful and we actually ended up agreeing on the subject by the end of our conversation. I was just blown away by this part of the weekend and I really think it's worth it if you're in the area or even if you're not. If you're interested in speaker building, go to this event for the community interaction alone. It's well worth it. Of course, there was a lot more to the weekend. Uh, one of the big reasons people show up to this event is to get killer deals at the tent sale. There was probably thousands of products marked down to ridiculous prices. And I was honestly super bummed that I didn't bring a big check bag that I could stuff full of stuff to take home with me. All of the new products were fun and all, but some of my favorite stuff was actually out in the parking lot at the audio swap meet. So many vintage turntables and audio amps and speakers. It was really beautiful. <laughs> um, I, I was really bummed uh, that I couldn't pick anything up. Darn luggage, planes. 
Ohio, you're so far away. I also did a little demonstration of how to build one of my ammo can speakers, though it didn't go over all that smoothly. <laughs> Unfortunately, the tools that were available weren't able to cut through the metal of the ammo can and the project ended up being delayed until I could get the right tools. This wasn't much fun in the moment, but it demonstrated perfectly that things often don't go as planned and rolling with the punches is a big part of any DIY project. Eventually I was able to get the right tools and three lucky people got to go home with the new speaker. And I just wanna say thank you to Justin, James, Caitlin, and everyone else at Parts Express for helping me at the event and for making it a good trip. And I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh, I was lucky enough to have Nick from the 123 Toyed YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out his channel, I, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, I'll put a link right up here. He has a fantastic DIY audio channel and he's just a really legit dude. It was awesome getting to know him over the weekend. So go to his channel, watch some of his videos and give him some comment love and tell him that I sent you. If you're interested in building a pair of speakers of your own, head over to kmakits.com where you can find free build plans as well as complete kits for purchase. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Just make your feelings known. If you're new here and you liked this video, please hit that subscription button and hit that little bell if you want updates when I post videos. I also have a Patreon where fans like you help me make videos like this one. And if you want to see the behind the scenes of making these videos or my speaker building or just my life in general, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, just search Kirby Meets Audio or there's a link down in the description. All right, thanks for watching this video. Um, I appreciate you guys. Honestly, Ohio was cool. It was like really cool. And the whole Midwest Audio Fest thing, I, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm gonna be there next year. Whether they invite me or not, I'm, I'm gonna show up. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.